critics have long criticized the Obama administration's drone program as being overreaching, too secretive, and too deadly. Now the president may shift drone operations from the Central Intelligence Agency to the U.S. Department of Defense. The condemnation of the U.S.'s drone program and its targeted assassinations came after activists and then lawmakers spoke out on extrajudicial killings of American citizens and the reports of hundreds of innocent people being killed from strikes in countries such as Pakistan. So consequently, relationships between uh, uh, Pakistan and the U.S. are at an all-time low, because, primarily because of the drone uh, issue. But uh, you're going to see other countries uh, picking up on this. They, the United States has set the precedent. It has uh, shown how it's done. And, uh, and more and more countries are going to follow up. The U.S. drone drama also played out on a congressional stage after a bruising confirmation hearing for newly confirmed CIA Director John Brennan, former counterterrorism official for the White House and considered architect of the U.S. drone program. Opponents of the unmanned aerial vehicles killings use the hearings as a sounding board for concerns over the U.S.'s clandestine missions. Governments have considered a wide array of laws and regulations to prevent abuses associated with drone technology. But Congress can do more. For years, the CIA has been using unmanned aircraft to target suspected militants, first under former President George W. Bush and then under President Obama. A CIA drone was used in Yemen to kill an American citizen, Anwar al-Awlaki. U.S. officials said he was a key operative in al-Qaeda. The U.S. government has considered its drone program as covert, meaning it could deny the program's existence. However, a court of appeals in the D.C. Circuit Court ruled that it could no longer be considered covert because so much information had already been released about the drone program. With this ruling in place and a possible move to the Defense Department, the drone program and its procedures could be tracked and held more accountable from computer records. It's really what we call a, a network-centric type of warfare in which uh, it's more information uh, technology and, 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 and approach toward uh, uh, un undertaking a uh, battlefield condition. It's all done remotely. Top officials say if the decision is made to change the oversight of operations, it would be based on an individual basis for each country, leaving the indication that some drones still might remain covert and under the radar of observant Americans. Colin Campbell, Press TV, Washington.